Well, hey, I want to talk about courage. It's one of four of our culture words that help define the type of people uh, we want to be as we try and follow Jesus together. So at Gate, we talk about living each day with adventurous faith and creativity to see lives transformed. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 11 verse 6 that it's that without faith, it's impossible to please God. Faith and courage are intrinsically related. And uh, we want to use these um, to please God, to bring glory to his name. And there was a young surfer. Uh, her name was Bethany Hamilton. She's a Christian. And at the age of 13, um, she lost her left arm to a 14 foot tiger shark. Ooh. Um, everyone thought her career was over, but not Bethany. Um, she was back in the water um, within a month and within two years she had won her first national surfing title. And she says this, she says, courage doesn't mean you don't get afraid. Courage means you don't let fear stop you. And that's exactly it, isn't it? Courage isn't the absence of fear, but it's overcoming that feeling with faith. And we need courage for all sorts of things. We need it for the other three culture words. We need, um, we need courage to be real, authenticity. We need courage to be able to give away um, generosity. And we need courage just to be humble and to put others first, honouring others before ourselves. And we need it for a whole bunch of stuff in daily life to bring a spiritual gift in church or out of church, to, to pray for the sick, um, to say sorry to make friends, to be the first to have a conversation or to tell people about Jesus and the good news that we have in him. So it's such an essential ingredient for us together. The Bible, as you know, is full of people's stories about faith, how they overcame situations and circumstances with God to do and to see great things for God. This is the normal Christian life. It's not passively sitting and looking on at others. No, it's actively playing your part as God grants you faith to be the person he's made you to be and to extend his kingdom through the power of the Holy Spirit so that you can be part of the adventure. One thing courage is not, is it's not blind faith. It's not taking risks for risk's sake. That's silly. That's stupid. Now we look to God for our wisdom and our direction. He's given us a whole bunch of promises that we can lean into and he wants to fulfill and come through on those promises on our behalf. And Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is crucial here. Being filled with the Spirit, that's what makes us bold. It helps us to have courage it strengthens us it enables us to know who we are in Christ and that we're loved by him and that we're his cherished possession which means that we can step out of our comfort zone and not worry about what others will think it's also the Holy Spirit that in the moment nudges us to say go on your turn go for it go in faith for something greater with God and when we do try, it's really important that we understand that it's the, the, the obedience and not the outcome that is important. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're praying for someone, the fact that you've prayed for them is your step and your obedience because God's asked you to do that. Whether they get healed or not, it doesn't matter. So the success becomes less than the fact that you've done what you felt God was asking you to do. Give it a go. That's the kind of culture we want around here to learn from our mistakes, listen to feedback and have courage to go again, to put aside cynicism and unbelief and perhaps past disappointments and believe God again that he will use you in faith. One thing and lastly I love about courage is that it's contagious. Billy Graham says that when a brave man takes a stand, the spines of others are often stiffened. And he's right. If you want to grow in faith, be around people of faith. Be around people who are going for it and taking a risk and seeing great things um, in their lives. But also 
be around God, spend time with him, read the word, listen to the Holy Spirit and start to take a step, take a small step and see what God will do with you. Why do we do this? Not so we would look good, but that God would look good, that he would be glorified and we would see lives transformed. Let's be men and women of courage, be strong and very courageous and have fun adventuring with him.